Hi, it's Richard, the CEO and founder of Digital Media Edge. So you've now got your business growth strategy in place. You've nailed your numbers. You've got your KPIs. You understand the metrics that you're working to and you know your numbers. So the next stage is really to move on to attracting the right people to your business. So inbound marketing is all about attracting those people, generating the right type of traffic and then lead generation. So once that traffic's coming through, how do we convert that traffic into a lead and then nurture those leads into customers? So inbound marketing is really what I'll focus on. Just I'll touch on it in this video uh, just to help you understand this part of your business growth strategy. So the methodology of inbound marketing is quite straightforward. Um, we're really looking to attract, convert, close, and delight. So these four steps are your marketing philosophy is really revolving around that, attracting the right type of people. So they're strangers who know nothing about your business at all, and then we're attracting them usually through valuable blog content, through keywords that they're researching, things they're typing into Google, is bringing up your videos, bringing up your blog content, your articles, uh, answering the questions that they're asking, and also through social media. Obviously, it's a massive um, part to play uh, in the modern connected world is the way we all use social media to ask other people's opinions, um, to answer questions as well. So watching videos on YouTube, for instance, uh, is a key way. That's probably the second biggest search engine after Google is YouTube, which is uh, also owned by Google. Um, so again, social media shouldn't be underestimated in a way that we turn those initial strangers into people who are now aware of us and become visitors to our website. So that's the attract phase. First of all, understanding who these people are. So marketing is all about and you'll have done this uh, in detail hopefully in when you're planning out your growth strategy is understanding your buyer personas so the basically the best buyer persona so that person who we want to appeal to first of all uh, that's what we class as the low-hanging fruit so are we appealing to all of those people are we attracting those people first there will be multiple buyer personas for most businesses most businesses will have five or six buyer personas fleshed out by the time we finish working with them but initially we start with that um ideal buyer persona and the ideal uh, profile of that person and um, how they make buying decisions who they are age gender uh, geographically where they live and um, really understanding um, the challenges they're facing the questions they're answering uh, the questions they're asking sorry looking for answers for um, where they're looking for those answers the trusted sources of information they have um, and also the social platforms that's really that is all of that in your marketing and inbound marketing is shaping the content that you produce and how you're going to distribute that content to make sure that you're constantly attracting those new people. Once they're on your website, how are we using forms, calls to action, landing pages? So if you can control where somebody goes, they should all, always go to a specific landing page that's very relevant to the query or to the solution or the problem that they're looking for to solve um, and again the more specific we can be with the page we send them to the more likely they are to engage with us again one of the biggest mistakes i see a lot of people do is they just send everybody to their home page and then hope they're going to convert um, but then obviously you know we're not because in the modern age if we don't find the answers we're looking for we move on to somebody else who will provide us with the answers so again by sending someone to a uh, home page and then letting them find their own way through your navigation system is not the best way to do it. You should be sending them to a landing page, should be calls to action, sending them through to that landing page and a form on that page to try and gain some data uh, in exchange for valuable content that you can then start engaging with them through email and through workflows through social media again so again the process moves then into that convert stage getting them as a lead in your crm or your database and then we go into the close stage so this is where more of the sales process starts kicking in and we start moving people on towards making that decision uh, to use you as a business. And again, we're following that up with email, nurturing that that lead nurture here. And um, we can use marketing automation software. We can find out um, 
more specific piece of content to provide them with. Now they're a lead and keep them moving along because we know where they are in their buyer's journey. Once they've consumed a piece of content, we know what their intent was by consuming that piece of content. So we know that within a certain um, certain area, this is what they'll be looking for next. So we can help continue them along that journey. So it might be a top of the funnel offer. And then we provide a checklist to them as well to help them in that consideration stage and to refine their options that they have available to them. Um, and then they become a customer. And of course, even when they're a customer, we've talked about this, once they've been closed into a customer, we've got um, a relationship with them and we're constantly trying to delight those customers. So they give us referrals. So they cross sell, upsell. So they leave us positive reviews on Google, on Facebook, on our website. Uh, we might use something like Trustpilot to gather those as well. Um, and also send them out with surveys, you know, we send surveys to them, which will constantly feedback of how we improve this experience for future customers and for them as clients. Um, also running events, having smart content that only customers see on your website. These are all areas that you can make people feel that they're very special to you as a business. So that's your inbound marketing methodology. It's all about attracting the right traffic and then converting that traffic and having your lead gen uh, working. So it gets to this stage, which is where really inbound sales kicks in then, which I'll talk about in another video. Um, so driving website traffic, you've got organic search where people are finding our content by searching on the search engines such as Google. Uh, you've got blog content can appear, you've got pillar pages. We talked about that, which is a, an authoritative piece, a long pillar page on your core topic that you can help people with. Video content, so they're organic ways, people. That doesn't cost you anything. Paid ads and search, again, we can have pay-per-click ads on Google AdWords, Bing. We can have remarketing pixels for people who visited our website that we remarket to across Google or across the social media platforms. And you can also have social media paid ads. So it might be LinkedIn paid ads if you're a B2B business. It might be Facebook paid ads. You can have paid ads on Twitter. Um, there's also YouTube, you can promote videos. So if you know a certain question is asked or lost by your audience, you might want to promote that video so more people become aware of it and then they get pulled into your uh, into your environment for your business. So paid search should be building on organic search. And I must underline, get your organic working first. Make sure you're converting your organic traffic. And once that's working, and you know it's it's conversing at 2% of the traffic you send there, then start feeding in paid traffic. Don't go down the down the route or the tactical approach of just trying to buy traffic and customers because it'll become more and more expensive. Certainly the more competitive industry you're in, uh, the more expensive that becomes. And often you're just making up for areas of your website that you could conversion optimize to convert better. And you probably, most businesses we talk to have enough organic traffic to take um, take advantage of and a customer base that there's opportunities within there without starting to pay thousands of pounds for paid traffic as well. So only when your organic um, processes are working, then switch on your paid ads. Um, don't be convinced by an agency to pay, use pay-per-click or Google AdWords uh, to drive your lead gen uh, because it just becomes a very expensive way of uh, driving business growth. So even though you're growing by 20, 30% a year, your actual profit margin is probably shrinking. So let's get that organic growing. And then once you know your cost of acquisition, your COCA, as we talked about in the strat strategy part, your cost of customer acquisition, your customer lifetime value figures, then you can work out, well, we can afford to pay this amount for clicks because we know it will convert at this um, through the website. So you can be very accurate with your paid and only work out your ROI very accurately as well. And then finally, you've got social media. So driving organic traffic again, as we're doing through organic search, you can drive it through being regularly active on social media through posting regularly, sharing interesting content, showing you understand your audience, building a community of the right type of people. All of this is how social media can be used just to give your organic and your lead gen uh, even more of a boost and more organic traffic coming through. So driving website to your traffic, don't lose sleep over it. It's not complicated. And most of the time, most businesses have more than enough traffic and just need to get that converting first, then focus on your, your website traffic. 
Uh, and then your social strategy, once you know the content, the person, the persona that you're uh, engaging with, then focus not just on selling to them over social media, but actually spend all your time in these three quarters here. So listening to what they're talking about, engaging with them actively on there, influencing by sharing useful and valuable content with them, videos, infographics, things like that, very social content, and also social networking. So tagging in other businesses and businesses you want to talk to, influence influencers really having your networking working on social media and then I'd say once one in every eight posts people will be happy that you share a link or something for them to go through the website or do a little bit of self-promotion there but no more than one in eight posts everything else should be giving value to your audience so make sure you focus on that in your social strategy um, and that's all part of your inbound marketing. And then blogging, again, a key part of the work we do is in developing blog posts. So what do I blog about? So I'd say focus on four areas. Frequently asked questions is the key thing. Don't just have an FAQs page up. Turn each of those frequently asked questions into two pieces of content. One, a blog post. So 800 to 1,000 word blog post answering that question in detail, giving examples, case studies, all sorts of things to really give a valuable answer to those questions. So go back to your customer base, your existing customers, get your sales team and your marketing team around the table and say, right, what questions are we being asked? At what stage of the buyer's journey is someone on when they're asking that question and what questions are they being asked? There's all your blog content and your content strategy. Start blogging about each of those questions, each of those things people are asking in your industry, in your sector. Start blogging about that. So make sure you focus on that first of all and then produce a video from that blog. That's my other bit of advice. Always focus on getting a good quality blog post written, but then produce a video from that blog. Even if it's someone's head and shoulders just talking to the camera about that question. A lot of people ask us X, here's our answer, da, 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 da. It can be a one and a half minute video. Again, then you have a piece of content for Facebook, piece of content for LinkedIn if you're B2B. You can put it up on your YouTube channel. Again, you can see how doing that work well once and then you embed that video into your blog post as well. So that YouTube video you've put on your YouTube channel, embed that into your blog post. So people can consume that on a mobile device and they say, oh, I've got a video here. I can watch that. So again, all this is just advice on using blogging effectively. What does your buyer persona need help with? Again, you should be understanding the challenges your buyer personas are coming across. If it's a B2B scenario, how do you make them their life better? How do you help them uh, with the challenges that operations managers are coming uh, uh, or operations directors are coming into or marketing? Um, any of these people that you know are your key buyer personas, what are the challenges they're having on a day-to-day -day basis and how can you help them? So answer that in a blog post. What do you people wish people knew about your industry? Again, as the industry as a whole, what's the expertise you have and can you share some of that with other people? And what are other industry bloggers talking about? Again, if you're doing the networking and the social media um, listening that I was talking about, you should know your industry inside out and what are the key trends that are happening within your industry and how can you add your voice to that? So give an opinion on something, give a valuable piece of content on a subject that other people are talking about regularly. And so get a list of all the, uh, the influencers within your industry and monitor what they're talking about. And that'll give you more than enough blog content to write about. But again, going back to focus on your buyers, be very buyer centric with your content and what are the problems that the buyer persona and questions they're asking. Focus on that first of all. Um, so, and that's really your inbound marketing. That's where all your efforts should be going. And then once they're coming through your website, then you need to start focusing on optimizing that website, um, optimizing the website to make sure that it converts. And this is something we do in one of our activities where we actually go through the different stages of a buyer's journey for clients and what type of content you could produce for that. So again, once they're consuming your content, visiting your website, then the focus switches to conversion optimization and making sure that your website is then converting that traffic into 2% of leads. So 2,000 visitors a month uh, 
are converting into 40 leads in your database and CRM. Okay, so that really is what all your business growth inbound marketing strategy should be focused around. Getting your content strategy right, getting your social media strategy right, your blogging, making sure your website and the traffic that's coming through is converting into leads in the database. Um, or the CRM, and then those leads get to a certain stage where they're handed then over to the sales team, and that's where inbound sales kicks in. So again, if you have any questions on inbound marketing, I've tried to keep this very brief as an overview approach. Obviously, tactically, actually executing this on a day-to-day -day basis, there's a lot of work involved in it, but between teams, it can be very, very easy and very, very effective. Once you get this working and attracting the right people through answering the questions, holding the hand through the decision-making process, you'll find that the actual conversion into customers becomes very easy because you've been the one helping me all the way along my buyer's journey. So you're the one I trust and have the authority. Okay, so any advice you need on this, get in touch with myself and Rachel again. Click the Let's Talk button at the top. Um, if you want to get your marketing strategy or there's areas of your marketing strategy you want to convert from an outbound into an inbound mentality, then we're always happy to help talk to people about that, about the content strategy, about social media, things like that. So please get in touch. Click the button at the top and we'll be happy to spend some time talking to you about that. All right. Take care. Talk to you soon.